I'm Catherine McCord, and today on Pro Tips from Pro Chefs, I'm gonna be showing you road trip snacks that are gonna save you as you head on your destination and make sure that your bellies are full. Something we already know, America loves road trips. Oh, can we talk about road trip snacks? One of our favorite travel recipes are these cucumber stackers. They're also perfect if you are gluten-free because there's no bread in them. So you can take a cucumber, Persian or English cucumber, whatever you like. You can keep the skin on or skin off. I like the skin on, especially with the Persians because they are much thinner than an English cucumber. And you wanna cut them about a half an inch. And just remember, this is your bread. Not exactly the bread that you might be used to, uh, but it gives a little bit of crunch and you get a vegetable in there too. Then we're gonna take some cheese and some turkey. So you can put them side by side, on top of each other, whatever you like. Now is the fun part, cookie cutters. They are not just for Christmas. I use them all year round in different kinds of shapes. These are kind of flowers and clouds and stars, but again, use what you've got. So I just take them like this, super fun. You can get your kids involved if you want, because it's a really fun one. All right, and again, like different shapes and when they're eating them, you can have them say like, what kind of shape do you think is in there? Because on a long trip, you wanna keep everyone as entertained as possible. Okay, so you're gonna put a cucumber and put your star on top, and then you can just place them right on top like that. And you can use other kinds of deli meat too. You could use ham, pastrami, roast beef. Same thing goes with the cheese. I like to use cheddar, but you could also use mozzarella, Colby, Munster, Swiss, anything you enjoy. All right, so I've got my turkey and I'm just gonna put my cheese right on top. All you do is put the cucumber right on top and that is a cucumber stacker. Only three ingredients, the perfect bite-sized treat to get a vegetable in there and protein as you're traveling and make sure that no one gets hangry on your road trip. And don't forget, if you have scraps like this, feel free to throw them in a sandwich now and keep your cucumber stackers for later. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are totally yesterday. I am talking about peanut butter and jelly Pop tarts. These are homemade, only three ingredients. You need pie crust that you can make yourself or you can buy prepared in the refrigerator section of your grocery. And then I just fill them, these little squares, about two inches by three inches, with a teaspoon of peanut butter, a teaspoon of jelly. You bake them up in a 400 degree oven until they're nice and golden like this. Now, the fun part though comes with the glaze. So I like to put one on a surface. And then I've got a little bit of powdered sugar here. After all, you're on a road trip and it's all about making it as fun as possible. So in the powdered sugar, I like to put some food color and then you're gonna just add in a little milk. Now you wanna do this a little bit at a time because we're just trying to make a really beautiful glaze. And ask your kids what color they want. Blue, green, yellow. Um, they can play with their primary colors. All right, just slowly stir, 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 adding just a little bit of that milk at a time because you want to make sure that your glaze is thick enough. You don't want it to be too runny. All right, so stir it. Oh, yes, that's what we're talking about. Look at that pretty, pretty color. And you just want it like that kind of a consistency, just thick enough but spreadable at the same time. And then we're just gonna put a little of that glaze, let it drip, 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 so it doesn't make a big mess. And then we're just gonna spread it right on. I like to use a spoon, because it makes it easier just to spread it all around. And just that extra bit of sweetness on top makes it fun to look at, but also to enjoy tasting. And then, just to really up the ante, I like to put some sprinkles on top, just a few to give it a little pop. Look how cute those are. They're like the perfect summertime treat. At any given time, I have four boxes of cereal in my pantry with just about this much left over. So these 
Cereal bars are the perfect use for that kind of leftover cereal. I dump them in, I add a ton of peanut butter or any kind of nut or seed butter that you like, a little bit of coconut oil, which is the greatest tip kind of keeping them together, um, and then some oats so that you get that whole grain goodness. I put everything into this nine by nine inch pan. Always line your pans with parchment paper, just like this. That way they pull right out. It makes cleanup and cutting them a breeze. So just take that parchment and then take a serrated knife and we're just gonna cut them like this. Another great tip is if you feel like you need to head out on your road trip and you want to make these really fast, just put them in the freezer because they'll set up really quick. And then we can just turn, turn, turn and cut them. Oh, look at that. Not only are they absolutely delicious, but look at that. Any kind of cereal you like is gonna work for these on-the-go bars. I don't know many kids who don't love cereal, but who wants to take milk with their cereal on a road trip? These cereal bars are a ton more fun, have a lot of protein in them, and no mess. Last but definitely not least is my super healthy granola. I have a batch of this with me at all times. Why? Because it is like hearty. You can put it in parfaits. But I'm gonna tell you my tip for getting these huge chunks that look more like granola bars than they do granola. So after you add in all of your ingredients, you're gonna allow it to spread out, bake it in a 250 degree oven for about an hour and 45 minutes, Take it out and totally let it cool because that cooling process allows it to get nice and crispy, stick together. So when it comes out of the oven, it's in these huge chunks that you can break into smaller pieces, put in a bag, and that for me is the best on the go snack. The reason I love this granola and making it, it's so much better than store-bought. You can control the ingredients in here. You get a lot more bang for your buck and it's not too sweet. There's no refined sweeteners in it, so it's just that perfect kiss in every single bite. For more pro tips, head to thedrewbarrymoreshow.com slash pro tips, and if you make any of these recipes on the go, tag me at Weelicious, hashtag Drew Barrymore Show. Thanks for having me, Drew. This is so much fun.